so um, it is Thursday August 14th um, it is oh my god it's almost noon this is really bad I didn't just wake up I know it looks like I just woke up and I am just now having breakfast and drinking coffee that is the world's biggest cup of coffee by the way do you see that next to like a milk container just saying that's the type of coffee that I need um, today this is actually really exciting. I am going to try on wedding dresses for the first time today. I don't know if I'm excited or if I'm scared or if I'm nervous. You know, I was the typical kind of person like, I don't want to try on wedding dresses until I lose 20 pounds. Like, that was me. I was like, I don't want to try on any wedding dresses until I lose 20 pounds. Well, I didn't exactly lose 20 pounds. I lost like maybe 5 or 10. Who knows? Because, you know, vacation, I definitely wasn't dieting, but who knows? Um, but I can't put it off any longer. And it's one of those, like, I just have to, it's my body, and I just have to grin it, bear it, get it over with. And yeah, so I'm going to try on wedding dresses today. Um, it's just me and my mom going and I have to say I'm, I'm nervous. I really am nervous. Um, and I'm running so far behind on time. Already this morning I um, did a blog post. I'm uploading a video right now um, and it's a beautiful day outside. But today, this afternoon, I have to go pick up my dry cleaning, go to my mom's house, um, see my mom, and then... Um, go try on wedding dresses and then I have to work tonight. I'm bartending tonight. It's my second job. Um, so I'm bartending tonight and so it's like I've got to do all of this in the next like four hours and I'm running out of time because as you can see it's like 12 o'clock and I'm not even dressed, no makeup, hair not done. I'm still eating breakfast and I'm running out of time and I feel like that's the story of my life. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys along today and hopefully this will be a really good day. Who's that? Okay, okay, okay. All right, I will set down the camera. I will set down the camera. I am sorry. I will set down. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, sorry. Sorry, people of YouTube. I needed to pet my baby girl. Montiano. Come on, sweets. Let's go up. Oh, sweet. Can you turn around? And it's all blurry. Where are you going? Where are you going? This is a package that was sent to me by an amazing subscriber of mine. Plate. Oh, you made a plate? Oh, that's cool. That's upside down, but I think it's dry. Right Once you uh, fire it. <gasps> oh, that is a cool texture too. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Oh my God. So a subscriber of mine just sent me this beautiful package, oh my god. And oh my god, like oh my, like you can't even say enough oh my god to describe what it was in this package. Do you see these? She sent me Mad as a Hatter and Absolutely Alice. Ah! Thank you so much, Katie. Oh my god, like all of these are ones that I have had on my wish list like forever. Like Voodoo Doll. Voodoo doll, like, oh my god, they don't even make this anymore. And Humblebee, oh, or by Nail Ventures. I can't, I'm so excited. I got Ninja Polish Flome. Ah! Connect the dots, like, seriously. And then, of course, Mellow Yellow. You can never have too many backups of Mellow Yellow, but oh my god, thank you so much, Katie. And I'm so excited. This is like, I've been on the hunt for like the perfect mustard yellow. This is, oh god, Aura Angora by Barry Al. So excited. Thank you so much. Oh my god, like I think I have to go home. Well, after work tonight, obviously, and like put on a humblebee. Tomorrow's my birthday too, so this is like the perfect like pre-birthday present. Oh, I am so nervous, but yeah, we're at David's Bridal. I haven't even gotten out of my car yet and listening to the new what's the song? Leave the Night On. Oh, love this song. But yeah, I am so nervous. That is definitely, when he was showing me pictures online of what he wanted me to wear, he was all like, you know, plain ball gowns. Can I try this? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try that out. That's your plane, and then you can always add a sash and make that it a That is true. Fun. That is true. Um, trying to think also, he likes satin too. Okay. So we can, I don't know. The ball gown, sat, satin ball, ball gown. Satin ball gown, that's like Cinderella, I guess, is what he was showing me. Oh, it's, 
Yeah. Oh my god, really? <laughs> we'll try it. It's, well, it's a satin top, but then it's got like the Cinderella fluffy bottom. Okay. And it's big it and huge and fluffy, and I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> Ooh. So this one has lace, rouging, and What's like pearls. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is this bruging? Uh, uh, rouging? Rouging, rouging. Yeah. 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 The, oh, the folding yes. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, oh wow, that's ornate. Right? Sorry. <laughs> you were looking at this one. I was. Do you want to try this one? Uh, no, I'm okay. I was just looking at the texture. I have a picture of you without your hands all over your boobs. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Let me actually grab some. Hold on. Yeah. This. So but well, we all have that problem. Thinking even more, even more plain. simple, no wrinkles, no like just. So um, I am on my way to work right now. Um, I just got done trying on wedding dresses, and I have to say I am extremely discouraged. <laughs> um, I don't like to think about it that way, but I really am. I'm just, I just got off the phone with Berto, and I talked to my mom about it at length. It was just like, I don't know. I We went to David's Bridal, and it was... <laughs> All right, so here's what happened. I went to David's Bridal and everything, and they they told me, we were trying to figure out my my size and everything like that, and they told me flat out that like, this is, you know, bridal runs a little bit smaller, and so let's like take your measurements, figure out what size you are. They told me that literally between my waist, my between my waist and my shoulders, I know I have broad shoulders, like I'm well aware that I have broad shoulders, and I'm well aware of big boobs too, but they said in like between my waist and like, the size that I could wear for like my waist down and the size that I would have to wear for my waist up is six dress sizes differently. I know that I have a very weird body shape. Like I look very triangle-ish, like my I'm very top heavy, but you know, so they said that, you know, because your boobs and your shoulders um, and like your bust, like, you know, your rib cage is just so big, you have to go up at least six, at least six. I think they said between like, you know, four to six dress sizes than what you would normally wear for a bridal. I was like, okay. So we started trying them on and there's only about, between me being so tall and me having an odd body shape, there was only about 10 dresses total in the store that I could possibly buy. And I didn't like any of them. And I guess it was just really discouraging because I'm like, I tried on every single possible dress that David's Bridal could possibly give me um, that I could buy from them and none of, I didn't like any of them. And so now I'm like sitting here and I'm like, it was just really discouraging to like find that out, like to find out that like I have to buy like a specialty wedding dress because my body is so distorted. I guess and you know I'm already like insecure with my body as it is and now that like this is the situation that is presented to me and I can't do anything about it um, and I'm already behind schedule like you're supposed to order a wedding dress like at least like a year in advance I'm seven months before my wedding and so I, they've got to rush order anything that they'd have to make something special and they'd have to rush order it for me and there'd be extensive alterations because I'd have to order a dress that would fit my top half and then they'd have to do extensive alterations for it to fit my bottom half. So it was just really discouraging and I don't want to cry but like I've already cried twice about this. Like it just brings me back to like when I was prom dress shopping the same thing happened to me. I could not. Today is the next day and I you know, I was funny, I was I was vlogging like right after I finished trying on dresses and my camera ran out of batteries and then I had to go to work and you know, I got to work out of work late and then I had to charge my camera. So now it's like the first time that I could really like sit down and talk to you with a camera. <laughs> um, so technically it's not all just one day, but you know, after having a night, you know, like the rest of the night and like this morning to think about it, I think I kind of realized why I was so upset yesterday. Um, it is very disheartening to know that there are just, your dress options are very limited. Um, I can't remember if I said this, I haven't reviewed the footage yet, but you know, my, I'm very, very top heavy. And so I have to go up 
like four or five like four four to six sizes you know find a dress that'll fit my top half like you know my bottom half is one size my top half is another and you know I've I've always dealt with that that's not something that is news to me I'm not you know I have very broad shoulders and I have very large boobs um, but I have a small waist and uh, like no ass and no hips whatsoever and so I've always dealt with that and you know that's always something that it's probably why I don't do outfits of the day because you know I'm I'm not very I'm not really insecure with my body like yeah I would love to lose a couple pounds but I just feel like the distribution is very disproportionate and like you know I'm just not you know like I said I'm basically like my body is the shape of an inverted triangle so um and I think the reason I got so upset yesterday is that I was having flashbacks to prom dress shopping because the same problem happened with me with prom dresses basically what happened with me and prom dresses was I went all around trying to find a prom dress and dresses that fit my bottom half wouldn't fit my top and dresses that fit my top wouldn't fit my bottom and um, I think I went to like six or seven different stores looking for prom dresses I went to every store that you could possibly think and then finally I just went I just broke down and um, you know I was at a store it was like the six or seven store that I went to to find a dress and I just found one that just happened to semi fit it didn't even fit and I was so discouraged and so disheartened that I just bought it and I didn't love the dress and you know looking back on pictures and it's funny because it was like way too short you know because that's another problem that I have I'm 5'11 so I have to get like an extra long um, a lot of times in dresses like half the dresses I tried on yesterday were too short but that's kind of what happened so I look back on these prom pictures and I'm like god I hated that dress and geez that really looks awful because it's like super tight around my boobs but then it's like a bag on me everywhere else and it is too short and you can like you know it basically came to my ankles and so um, I was having flashbacks of prom dress shopping and it was just very disheartening to think that like on the one day that you want to look your best and you want to look beautiful and you want to feel beautiful I'm like thinking already in my head that I'm not going to be able to feel that way and I'm not going to find a dress that's going to fit me because I've been through this before I went through this you know almost 10 years ago prom dress shopping and you know I guess like I think the moment of despair really hit me when like we're trying on dresses and we I couldn't find anything that I really liked and I said can I go to the racks and look through them and she basically said you've tried on every dress in the store that we could possibly order for you and that was extremely kind of like disheartening and my mom did everything she could to like make me feel better and to lighten my spirits I guess because she's like you know what it just means that it's gonna hug your body perfectly and you know price doesn't matter you know for you to find the perfect dress we'll find one that'll like fit you awesome you know and but I think that she could tell that it really bothered me the fact that like I have so few options and the options that I do have I have to pay extra money because my body is a certain way and I can't change my body and so I have to find a dress that's going to be conducive to it and I just I'm so I do not want for my wedding what happened with my prom where I just pick a dress just because it fits and I look back on pictures thinking I hated the way that I looked or I hated that dress and the worst part was is that like I was going through my camera this morning because my mom took pictures on this camera of every dress that I tried on and the dress that I thought looked the best on me I was looking at pictures of it and I'm just like that's exactly what I was scared of like I, I focused on this one dress that I thought looked good because it was the best out of all of them and I'm looking at pictures and I hate it like hate it and it's not the fact that I hate it because it's but it just wasn't nothing that I wanted and it's nothing that I do want now it's like actually like if I was gonna say everything that I didn't want that is what there was like rouging and you know it gathered to one side and there was like straps and it was an a-line and like it was everything that I didn't want and still everything that I don't want and I look at pictures and I'm like I'm gravitating towards this dress because it fit because I was able to stand there in the mirror and you know it 
you know, she cinched in my waist and it fit my boobs, but you know, it was like one of those, like it covered, like, you know, it was super, super thick kind of halter straps. And I'm just like, I don't want a halter dress, <laughs> you know, but it was, you know, that's just the kind of thing that I'm talking about. So I guess this is the end for day 14. Cause now I'm just getting really, really, uh, negative on myself, but on a positive note, on a very positive note, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on dress shopping and I'm not going, you know, I'm going to, I talked to Berto about this and I basically said, I'm like, don't let me fall into the same trap that I did for prom. I don't want to just pick one just because it fits. Like, you know, if worse comes to worse, I will order something from a specialty store online for like tall girls with broad shoulders or something like that. Like, is there a big and tall wedding dress store? Um, I'll order something from there and you know, have it altered here if I can find the dress that I want I will find it somewhere whether I have to order it online and pay extra money I will find it and I will look beautiful on my wedding day and that is a promise that I'm gonna make to myself and I'm not going to let what you know the limited selection at one wedding dress store deter me from looking beautiful on my wedding day so positive note that's it i'm going to not give up and i'm going to find the right dress and me and my mom are going shopping again next week because we're running out of time go figure <laughs> um so yeah i hope that you guys like this video i'm sorry that it was kind of negative but um so thank you so much for watching guys and i will talk to you later